Great KO scramble. Anybody see my fear? <laughs> okay. So before we, <laughs> oh my, oh my, oh my. Um, so we have an amazing man backstage, and wait until you see what he looks like because it is unbelievable. Mustaches, goggles, the whole thing. But I, does anyone have, I keep lost my beard. Does anyone have the uh, snapshot? Has anyone seen it clearly out of the way and not happening? <laughs> Get ready for our next guest because he is a face that a lot of people would say is leading the steampunk movement. And I didn't even know what steampunk was until and I saw a picture and then I was like, oh, it's those guys from the 1900s who dressed like how they thought the future would be. Um, and he's so cool. He's just cool. All right, Doc Phineas, come on out. Let's get you a Yes. Hey, you are the best. You are the best. How are you doing, brother? Yeah, all right. Well, butchered your intro, but hey. it's a good starting point. It's, it's only good up to from butcher. Here. It's good to start yeah. up with a good okay. butchery. That's <laughs> good. Okay. So, anyways, you look so cool. Well, like, thank you. You just like have this pop. You look pretty darn cool that. yourself. No, look at you. I like that though. Okay. So, first <laughs> off. Um, explain steampunk, because I might be, I guess I'm the last person on the planet that doesn't know what this is, but oh, yeah. what, what is it? How Come do I know? On. I mean, how do I know basically, we're sexy geeks that are inventing a better future for yeah. planet Earth. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, steampunk actually has been around since 1987. Oh my. And even, even oh before my. that, but, you know, we're coming from that Victorian science fiction genre of like Jules Verne, H.G. Wells, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, Time Machine, <laughs> you know, we're into time machines. Oh, I know. I could totally see you making a time Come machine. Come on. I, mean, that I, was one I of the have first a time machine. Come That's on. one of the first things I saw. Just don't tell anybody. you were out in the garage <laughs> making that thing. And, you know, we were kind of tinkers. We're tinkering with things. We're taking old cogs and gluing them here and putting them there and creating new things. But what happened was in 87, um, there was a gentleman named K.W. Jeter. And he was writing really cool books, kind of in that <coughs> same subgenre of a subgenre, which is like 20,000 Leagues on the Sea. Right, and he's right, writing right, about right, Morlock right. Knights, and the Morlocks yeah. are coming out. And, and or they like said, that Will Smith movie? Do you see that? Yeah. Do you, like, do you like that one a lot? Wild Visual Wild West. Vi that was the best TV show ever, yes. was Wild Wild West. <laughs> and so then they, you know, they said, basically, what do you call this that you're doing? And he goes, well, I don't know, uh, steampunk? Right, because it's steam powered and, 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 and it's yeah. punk. And I think it really fits us well in our community because we have some people that are just totally Victorians, you know, right, they do right, right. Victorian reenactment. And then we have the punks, you know, that they've got goggles on and, you know, they've got stuff steaming out the top of their heads and backpacks yeah. that are, I know, you know, they're paranormal so cool activities. Looking. And, and I really do think it. that yeah. our community is, in, we're inventing a cooler future. Like we take our cell phones and we go, Oh, that's ugly. Okay, let's make it out of wood. Right, steam yeah. power it. Or let's something. make it out of brass yeah. with cogs and sort of like eyes that light up like the Nautilus. You know? Okay, gotcha. <laughs> so that's basically who we are. And I mean, come on. Uh, you know, I, I'm a pro college professor. Right. What college okay. student doesn't want to wear cool yeah. goggles? Okay. Is, right, right. <laughs> come on, you guys. <laughs> you so, know so you me. want to. Well, we got a couple. You know you want you, to. We've got a couple people. <laughs> who are, tell me about these people in the audience that we have, because we have a couple people in the audience I, who I have, have the goggles. Two it, of my very best friends on the planet, and these are amazing steampunks, famous steampunks. Oh. Right here, we have Professor Jack Titiger from San Francisco. Mm, professor, what, yeah. He, he is one of our greatest inventors. This guy yeah. can, he has a time machine. That man has a time machine. Oh, I know. And next to him, we have Montague Jacques Fromage from, from London. London, and he's a rapper right here. He right? is a rapper. He's the most amazing <laughs> steampunked out rapper. And as you know, our World Steampunk Convention is this weekend, you guys. Ah. And uh, it's here in Las Vegas at the fabulous Main Street Station. Can you imagine Woo! a better hotel than that? And we, we have like amazing acts there. Our bands are coming, the Baron Von Velveteen. It's a band, a steampunk band that dress like giant rabbits. I mean, come on. <laughs> that is you gotta cool. love that. All right. You gotta love that. So as I understand it, we have a couple tickets. We have a couple tickets we can yes. give away. But I wanted to find like who in the room do you think, and nobody else is really steampunk like your friends, but who do you think is dressing the wildest? Who's the closest that could be potentially on their way? Well, Heidi's got a bunch of colors. Heidi. Oh, that's no brainer. Heidi, my girlfriend from she Airstream Park. Uh, she is flawless. She's I got think the so. Comment. You know what? And Heidi, that, uh, Heidi and Chad, I think they might be good for it. Oh, so Heidi you guys and Chad. This weekend? 
Come on, Heidi, Heidi and Chad. You want a couple tickets? All right. Come on. Woo, girlfriend. I love you. Yeah, all right. You're flawless. That was like a no-brainer. There was oh, before yeah. it, so. Come on. Two tickets? Yes. Courteous there of Doc Phineas. Thank Save you. me you by a much more. And, and awesome. any of you other closet steampunks out there, I know <laughs> you're out there. You come and see me. After this is over, I'm going to bring you in the house. Oh, nice. Okay. Go in with the boy. You got yeah. it. You got it. Okay, so yeah, like, what does it take before I go from regular person to steampunker? Like, if I just put the goggles on, am I there? Or um, you're getting close. Mustache but and goggles? I, I think you would look particularly natty. Not naughty, but natty. <laughs> natty. In, in, a, in a nice little derby. Couldn't you see him in a derby? Come on, you guys. No. It would be so freaking sexy. Goggles. <laughs> And, and I was kind of thinking, it's don't you think derby. that for Dylan, he lo would look fabulous with a steampunk backpack with sort of a tube running through and serving cappuccino. So taking him my whole Hi. life to build that. Cafe au lait. <laughs> uh, I'll have a vente chai latte soy. Uh, well, no. Just, just an idea. No, like you've changed my course of my life now. That's probably <laughs> what's going to happen to me. I thought, I thought it. Thought all these other things, but now that's my future. I mean, and the mustache, I think, would be, don't you? Come on, you guys. I think, How many yeah, women I out there no, want to see Dylan in a mustache? Yeah, Come on. Beard, yeah. No, put the applause. That's the applause sign. It's the applause sign. No, no, there's probably the applause sign. We've okay. all seen Let's Mordecai. See. Have you seen Mordecai? I mean, look at Johnny Depp <laughs> in that mustache. It's incredible. Uh, yeah, oh, come on. This is too much. We have to continue on now. Come on. Come All right. On. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding with you. Okay, so are these, like, if I show up to this thing, are they are they generally friendly blokes? Oh, I think like, we're the friendliest they... people on the planet. Okay. So we they're... really are. I mean, we're... We're amazing because we're all inventors, we're crafters, we're absolutely out of our minds. Do you clash with hipsters, or is that like a symbiotic thing? I think we are hipsters. I, I think oh, there's a complete crossover gotcha. because, I mean, you have steampunks, you have diesel punks, are kind of the people walking around the mass, you know, like post-apocalyptic, and they're like, oh, God, don't let any fairies oh. bite you because you might turn into a zombie. <laughs> that's, so, di that's diesel punk? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, those guys. They collect fairies. Diesel like, punk, they got a lot of... Okay. But, yeah, you know, it's there. just, we're just being wild, and, you know, what can I say? You guys, this is my birthday, okay? Today is my birthday. That is true, at midnight. At midnight, yes. Oh, even more reason. I wish, uh, and need my drink to cheers you. And not only that, but you may recognize me. I am on Pawn Stars, you know. And I, I go out to uh, 142 countries every day, 38 languages. I am the antiquities expert. Ah, I can and imagine. so, you know, here I am at 65. I'm turning 65 today. And I can't imagine a more fun way to get old, you know, than oh, to yeah. do this. Really, not old at all, but I, I mean, I feel like I felt when I was 21. I'm just having a ball. I ride my bicycle from Burning Man around UNLV, yeah. you know. What? And oh, it I... shoots out fire at the back, and my oh, students yeah. are going, oh my God, there he goes. Okay, he's going. He's Were moment. you a Burning Man decompress in San yeah. Francisco? Yeah, okay. I was, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it's what it is. Uh, you know, you have to make life great, and just don't give up. Don't think you're going to get okay. old and be uninteresting. You're going right. to be fabulous like me. Okay? Well, we got 30 seconds left. I want to make sure everybody got it. How can they learn more about you, and where can they go online to find more about the conference? And you can find out more about me. I am at docphineas.com, and you can also find me on Pawn Stars. I'm one of the experts. I am also in a new movie out right now, coming out called The Q Document, Ooh. which I'm starring in. And uh, I'm out there. So if you look around for Doc Phineas, you yeah. definitely see hashtags. You are definitely out there. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you, Dylan. You. I thank appreciate you. it. Thanks, everybody. Yes, thank you, guys. All right, and everybody at home, stay tuned. We're going to come right back after this commercial break for a magician, Mr. Rob Anderson. Stay wow. tuned. Thank you. It was a good job. That's awesome. Doc Vinius, you say, is steampunk. Who knows what? Inside, he just might be a very secret squatter <laughs> to sit and tell us what he thinks about Las Vegas here. I'm from East Coast. What do I know? He's the man to fear. Well, that's not too bad, is it? I no. mean, you know, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, no. Yes, who the hell am I? Montague Jacques Fromage, you might really want to know. I was invited to come here, and that's what I stow away and try to take away with me from here. I do Victorian steampunk funk. 
who the hell who here? You can hear me anytime you'd like. I gotta figure out a word to rhyme with like. Mike, yes! Anybody in the audience oh, here no, named I'm Mike? Hey, Mike, you're great! I think. I'm not yeah. sure. Are we okay. really yeah, doing yeah, rap? Me, I am so shirt. tired. Old people should be home, so but oh, okay, very good. It's been an absolute pleasure. Yeah.